Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. We're here back on the space station and we're actually hunting for some ships in this episode and we're also gonna hunt for different solar systems as well and there's a lot of stuff we still need to do here before actually finishing the entire quest line in No Man's Sky because there is like a itsy bitsy little bit more until we actually complete all of it so i'm just gonna check things out like i want to make this guy an offer oh my god what the f holy jesus christ oh my god this is not real i just started this episode and there's an s-class hauler in front of me 190 million i can't even afford that how am i supposed to find this again Okay, so this is a hell of a start of an episode. We just got a, like a freaking hauler, 48 slot, S class. <laughs> Why? Why? I, I, I need, I need to calm down. I need to calm down. I need to think. Like I really need this hauler right now. And technology slots. Well, I mean, it could be better, but I'm mostly looking to the general tab here. Like, the majority of, of the upgrades are gonna be in the normal inventory slots anyway, so it's not really a problem. But, but at least we, we know something. We know that this beauty is in this system. So let's go ahead, let's test this thing around at least. So let's see, what do we have? Like, we have here our home planet, our home base, and we're actually gonna go there. I could have just taken the portal, but I, I why, why did I do that? Why did I not use the portal? I have no idea why. Don't even ask. I'm, I'm just flabbergasted by the fact that there's actually an S-class hauler with, with 48 slots in my very system. I knew this was a good system to come into because I knew it was flourishing. That's why I settled here knowing that there's gonna be something good in it. And there it is, finally. And here's our nice little farm. We're gonna land really quick. Oh, this is beautiful. Where did I just land, by the way? Oh, right next here to the tree, a little bit of shade for my uh, spaceship, and you know, my base is mm, kind of rudimentary. What is happening? What is happening? Okay, there's a little bit of hiccups over here, but as I was saying, my base is a little bit rudimentary right now, if that makes any sense. Is that even a word in English? I know it's in my language, but I, I, I'm not sure. These, what I realized is that these cacti or cactuses i think cacti is the plural it doesn't matter but these plants over here take two hours to complete okay and i realized it, it just takes too much so i'm probably going to scrap this as soon as these get you know completed so that that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go back to living glass again it's way more lucrative to to do that and my mushrooms contrary to popular belief they don't grow as fast as you might think. But I'm checking the farm, I'm just checking the status of my, you know... Wait a minute. Wait a goddamn minute. There's... There's missing plants here. Somebody must have eaten my, my mushrooms. Somebody must have made a salad out of them, probably. Oh yeah, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> so I got a couple of things in my mind right now that we can probably do. One of them is to just take our ugly Betsy ship, which is now completely ransacked of any, any kind of plutonium, which we'll have to gather manually. Anyway, I'm just gonna have to take my trusty old mate. Still have some carbon in it, not a problem. So let's jump down there. Ooh, yeah, we didn't do this in a long time, didn't we? Oh, that was fail. That was a fail. Not a problem, we're just gonna go nice and easy. Maybe I should remove the mod with the trees. I mean, it makes everything beautiful, but pretty much ruins my fun. So, uh, yeah, what we were looking for? Oh, yeah. I think we were looking for precisely this. So come to daddy. Oh, by the way, I got a new multi-tool. Something that you didn't see before, because I'm probably I probably added it out by mistake, but it's an A class, so um, can't say it's you know that great, but at least it's better at mining and providing me stuff than the previous one. So all in all, I'm kind of happy with it. You know, like the previous one was a B class, even though it had a lot of inventory slots. I found myself not using them that much because I honestly don't have all the upgrades yet. And all of these little beings are now extremely scared of me and would rather see me die. But now... Oh. 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 I'm faster than you. Okay, maybe not. What is he doing? 
Hey. Whoa, hey, dude. Leave it alone. No, dude, leave it alone, Jesus. You're ruining the paint. Anyway, that was rude. Alright. So, let's go back up. We have found what we needed. And it's beyond me and beyond reason how trees are able to grow on freaking rock. I guess these are special types of trees. So what's the plan here basically? Because you're probably wondering what the hell am I going to do now? Well, as I've said, we really need that 48 slot hauler. At least A class. We saw the S class which is amazing but I don't think it's gonna come anytime soon. Who knows, maybe it will. But you know, one of my favorite tricks in finding spaceships or at least crashed ships is to just go mildly a little bit in the sky and then pressing one on the keyboard in hopes of finding a proper ship so I'm gonna try to do that we're also gonna try to make more units cuz currently I'm kinda poor like as you've seen there I have 8 million units from the last episode but it is not near enough to get what I need so I'm just gonna go you know I'm just spamming the one button I don't think I'm finding anything though Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We just did find something, didn't we? Oh. Oh, it's a cutie. Oh, what, what is happening? What is happening? I'm, I'm upside down. <laughs> like a glove. Aight, man. That was good enough. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Well, it's not looking bad. Futsutsa. <laughs> That's almost a cuss word in my language. So, 24 slot... Eh, uh, disappointed. This is not what I want. But maybe we find something in the debris. And enter. Co attempt to take multi tool. God damn it. I should have taken something else. God damn it. Alright. So that was a waste of time let's go let's find another one and I'm gonna give you a little bit of advice over here you know because I'm good in that so while in space or while you're in air just shoot this thing okay and you're gonna get something off of it you know and at least it won't appear on my radar all right let's do it let's do it pro style yeah there it is come on yeah there you go there you go come on a little bit more it's more resistant when it crashed than in air there you go well, we just put it out of his misery and at least we got some materials in the meantime. And it won't appear on our map anymore, which means we can pretty much resume hunting and not fall into finding the same type of ship again and again and it's gonna be like super easy now. Well, 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 would you look at that. Another spaceship. But it doesn't seem to look like the way we want it to look. It's ugly. Fine. I'm just gonna check it really quick, but I am... I'm gonna be prepared to be disappointed and I'm not really a fan of asymmetrical ships. So, A-class, but it's not what I want. I want something better. Let's see, maybe this time around we find something better in this round object. Approach, seemingly... Take multi-tool. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try again with the multi-tool, but something tells me it's gonna be... A, ba a bad one again. Oh my god, this is... This is just bad. Why did I even do that? This should, this should be a lesson, really. I should really start learning from lessons. Instead of repeating the same old mistakes. I'm gonna take my revenge, though. And I'm gonna shoot it down again. That's what you get for overheating my cannons. Yes. That was good. Let's see. Mmm. Oh, <laughs> sweet sound of loot. Man, that was like one of my favorite sounds, honestly. Eh, I don't really like this. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna try it on other planets as well. Let's see. I think it also wants us to go to the monolith. Which is on the other side. Oh my god, it just hurts my eyes. Alright, so... There was actually a monolith really close to us. So I'm just gonna go there really quick, you know, just so I can clear this part of the quest up. It just sits there on my map, annoyingly, and I just want to get rid of it. I should not be... <laughs> I'm not playing this game properly, am I? I? I think I threw a Viking dagger earlier in the quest line. Or at least I think I gave it to somebody. To some random dude I met on, on like, a space station. It wasn't even worth it, because he didn't give me anything good. 
So I'm gonna grab these wards really quick. You know, I need to become more fluent in Viking because these guys are swearing and cussing at me and threatening me and I do not understand what they are saying. Okay, anomaly. Alright. Locate portal. Okay. Portal shall we find? We still need that thing, don't we? We do. We still I don't I still think we need a Viking dagger. Or wait, actually, what am I even saying? We don't need a Viking dagger because it already pointed us over there. I didn't realize I was so wrong. But at least, you know, we're going towards the portal. And I think it's like towards of the end. It's gonna come up really nice. Like this planet looks like spinach from up far. But there's a portal. Let's land. Okay. Nicely done. And I think we're gonna need to like fill in those slots. Or at least repair the glyphs. Because I don't think that we have enough to repair all of them. I think we need, yeah. So we have we have oxide. I think we have plenty. Wow, it requires a lot of iridium. Isn't it completed? Is one of them like half empty? Okay, which one is not 100%? Oh, of course it's this one. <laughs> How did I not see it? Oh yes. Portal seems to bag me as I approach. Demanding my attention. It requires me to activate it. It requires me to travel on. I will request this planet's address. And now you have it, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to see where I live, <laughs> this is the address. So knock by my door, come here, pay me a visit. And, you know, it would be cool if I'm gonna see some of you guys coming here on my very planet to visit me. It would be amazing, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, if you want a green lush planet with really low sentinel activity, with a lot of good stuff on it, and especially chill temperatures. I mean, not really chill, I mean chill weather. As in, not really low temperature, more like not killing you type of temperature. If you want that sort of planet, you have come to the right place. This would be a good one for you. So, you know, pay me a visit sometimes. So, there was a holo terminus here all along and I did not even know that. Wow, I must say though, this place looks quite incredible. I wonder who we'll meet this time around. It's probably going to be one of the friends that we've made on our journey. Okay, multiple signal source available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. Okay, okay, whatever. What? Oh. Well, look who's here. We meet once again, don't we? Alright, let's talk to the guy. Oh, he looks pretty cool though. I wish I would look like this. So, Mr. Apollo. Have you found the glyphs for your world? I'm almost ready. My suit is upgraded, my stomach is full, and I've hired a geck to look after my farm while I'm away. Oh, dude. What? What? I dude, I found them. You can come here. As I look at Apollo, I think of all that I saw within the portal, of what happened to Artemis when they walked the same path. I think of the face of the Atlas, of the way Nada warned me not to return to those tunnels. I do not know if the portals are safe. I dude. Take the glyphs. I give Apollo the glyphs, asking to take care of them, to remember what happened to Artemis. They assure me that I will, promising to see me soon. Well, that was... that was pretty much it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Alright. Two travelers, one who cared too much and one who cared too little. The universe is not what you thought it would be, is it? The Atlas is not what you think it is. Something is happening to the universe, something I need you to help figure out. Alright, what is happening, man? The Sentinels do not just keep the peace across the universe. Their motives run deeper than that, seeking out anomalies in the multiverse structure and eliminating them from existence. There is an observatory nearby, I will lead you to the location of a crashed freighter of great interest to our investigation. Oh, that sounds interesting. Okay. So... Hey, come on. Oh, 
I feel like I'm in some kind of Skype chat. Okay, so I escaped Traveler. One moment I was running from them, the stars shifting, terrible smiles within the dark. And the next I was here, while well, wherever here he is. This new world has a sun, has life, it's beautiful, but I think... Anything would be beautiful after the months spent in that awful place. Well, I agree. I'm ready to get going now, though. Okay, whatever. So, pretty much Artemis is not aware of anything. And continue with deception? Come on, man. Do you have to put it that, like, that way? Makes me feel bad. I'm gonna continue with the deception this time around. I tell Artemis I will help, though much has happened since we last spoke. I tell them I am performing an urgent mission for a newly discovered traveler by the name of Null. I will assist Artemis with their start chart when I can, but it may be some time. Artemis' response is muted, but they do not disagree. They wish me luck and terminate the communication. Wow. Okay, that felt bad <laughs> for some reason. Made me feel really, really bad. I just know that if I tell him the truth, he's probably gonna be pissed. And it's He sounds like he's having fun. On his new system or planet or whatever that sub universe is or sub simulation so i'm not gonna ruin his fun i ruined it in the previous playthrough i had so i'm gonna attempt to keep it different this time around so crashed freighter we haven't seen one of these in a while <laughs> i'm just testing rocket ship don't mind me and here it is wow well, I'll be damned. Looks intriguing. Okay. Oh, it even makes strange noises. Like, there's moving parts inside of it still. Let's see, what do we find here, though? Okay, so... I'm gonna read the log really quick. I do not know who will read this message, I do not know if anything will survive, but I must die as I lived, I will record it all even in the face of oblivion. The swarm came to every world, the drones acted erratically, not attacking, just watching. Time passed and the sentinels did not seem so much of a threat. They were peaceful now, we thought. We had been forgiven. We were wrong. <laughs> okay, well by the looks of it, it seems you are correct. They struck as one, an attack somehow coordinated across unfathomable distances unfathomable okay whatever with the fury exceeding all prior skirmishes the sentinels annihilated all biological life within the universe in a span of 54.2 standard minutes that was fast they are coming now the screams of my friends resonate in every hall every corner the sentinels have found me i told nara to leave i told them what we already know all of us in our hearts we are not alone. Even if I die, even if all that is left of me are these words, Nara will find me again in another universe. Ten just like me. A thousand, a million travelers. We are not alone, for every soul is many. Even in the face of sixteen, we must declare that we lived. We existed no matter the horror of the end. They are at my door. I, and it pretty much ends there. Probably dead. So, yeah, pretty much. We're kind of done here. I wish I could repair one of these things and make it mine, you know. That's what I thought initially when I saw it, but it appears it's not the case. So let's go back. I think it's the whole determinants we need to go back to. You know, it's kind of strange that this planet completely changes its color once night comes by. It's like a totally different place, which is fine by me because I like this type of color scheme. And where is it? Yeah, there it is. Alright, I'm gonna speak with Null, it seems. What did you find there? Tell me everything. I wanna share discoveries with him. And I'm pretty much telling him exactly what happens. About Nada and everything, so I'm not gonna read all of that, it's just a waste of time. So nothing is coincidence, Traveler. The Atlas is with you, I'm sure of that now. It wants you to see what you are seeing. The freighter was a wreck from a parallel universe. There are countless such places within our multiverse. Dimensions where things happen differently, but there are three exceptions to this. The Atlas omnipresent in all, a singular being with a singular perception. The Sentinels move between dimensions at will. Why though? The Sentinels search for anomalies within the universe, preventing destruction and loss of life where they can. That they annihilated an entire universe, well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do things like that. They served the Atlas once, they were defenders of civilization, guardians of the peace. 
What about Atlas? The Atlas created all life and the Sentinels defended it, searching for anomalies within that creation. How do you know all of this? I have been alive for a very long time, Traveler. I know as much as you would know had you seen the things that I had seen. I was a traveler who corrupted the existence. Our arrival was meant to herald a glorious age, but we made a terrible mistake. I committed an act beyond forgiveness, and from this deed, paradise was lost. But something is different in this cycle. The walls between universes, they grown thin. We must learn what we can from each species before we decide what to do. Visit a Viking station and speak with them. I will translate. Okay. Mercenaries Guild representative. Let's talk to him. He must be knowing something and he was... Was here all along and he already knew all of this. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> okay. I need to increase my affiliation with the Mercenaries Guild. So let's browse some missions and we're gonna get the ones with delivering items. Everything, pretty much everything that has, like, that coin indication on it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to leave the rest for the next episode. I think we had enough for this one. I'm gonna have to thank all of you who have been actively watching my videos and commenting and subscribing. As always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, you're free to dislike. And I will see you guys in the next one.